Hey everyone, today I'm going to make a product review of the M3 half track made by the United States and used by its allies as well during World War II. So this particular model is made by 3R, a company called 3R. So let's just uh, take a closer look. I'm just gonna show you how the how I arrange the crew because the the gunner is quite tricky to put in place. So this model comes with accessories. Uh, there's the the driver, the gunner, 50 caliber machine gun, and two 30 caliber machine gun on each side. Now there's an extra soldier there. This is because I bought two of this, so I just put that extra soldier there. So let me let me show you the packaging, uh, how it's packed or the, the packaging itself. So this is the box. The scale is one is two seventy two, and the brand is 3R it has some inner print inside but it's blurry I think there's a Sherman on this print and some US soldiers so as I told you I bought two so this is the other one so I haven't opened it yet the accessories are just taped on top of the acrylic case So they, they put the accessories and the soldier in inside this uh, small uh, plastic pouch and you just tape it there so just be careful not to lose that one if you if you bought this one if you're planning to buy this particular model and i i like it because it comes with an acrylic case some models don't come with an acrylic case and a base you see here there's a base and this one the model is screwed into the base see there's two holes this is just a I think a dummy hole because probably they have other models like tanks that requires uh, two screw but the the half track requires only one the front one so as you can see there's a hole in there that's for the screw So let's go back to this model actually half track this one is the m3 half track um, there's also the m2 half track this was produced extensively by the united states to be used by its troops uh, half track is pretty common on both sides actually on the axis and on the ally powers why because the half track can go into uh, muddy terrain snowy terrain and off-road so instead of using a regular wheel they replaced it with a track wheel this is the sprocket this is the sprocket the sprocket the bogey and the idler and the tracks ah one thing about this one the track is not whether it's just painted as black uh, it would have been nice if they have painted this like a metallic type you know black and there's some silver on it just like the hobby master models or they can have it as a rusty look like that of the hobby master or easy model just like this one I'm gonna show you see that track I would prefer that the track would uh, look like this but unfortunately it is just black they have done so much on this model they could have just you know uh, have the track on, on a rusty look but so far the details is very good actually the back door you can see the back door and uh, I think this is for the comp communications and let's take a look at 
the side so you can see a jerry can in there and some shovel and on the front the bumper looks good and you can see a a spool of I think it's a tow wire and that also that looks realistic because it has that metallic uh, finish on it not only that the 60 caliber machine gun has a metallic finish and the ammunition box is green I'm happy with what they've done on the 60 caliber machine gun and on the 230 caliber machine gun also it's metallic gray in color let's take out the crew and you see they have the seats here actually you have the seats and the compartments you know some stowage they, they put in their supplies uh, ammunitions inside so the half track has so many variants not so many there are many variants there's even uh, a variant that instead of having the machine gun on beside the driver the mount I think a bigger gun probably 50 millimeter gun I forgot what's the gun size but it is uh, a cannon this one is the M3 A1 and it is can be recognized by the machine gun ring mount this part here so this machine gun can 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 go into the ring can can rotate around the ring and the other feature is that there's two 30 caliber machine gun on both sides so let's take a look at the bottom as you can see it is also very detailed it's just not like an ordinary toy that you have just like flat you know flat at the bottom but this one you can see the chassis actually you can even see the differential here so this differential drives this the two sprocket the left and right sprocket that turns the the tracks see that's a differential that's the shaft and this is four wheel drive you can't really see four wheel like two track drive and the front is also uh it's all wheel drive vehicle because you can see the differential on the front as well and the chassis the, the the structure of the m3 is uh, very clear so i believe this is one of the most detailed uh, m3 half track in the market now other brands don't have this one the forces of valor i think they have one half track but mostly they have german half tracks the pma the precision model arts they have german half tracks and the De agostini as well i think they have only german half track so i'm very glad that 3r produced this half track by the united states it can add variety to my collection let's take it another look that's a very detailed model I like also the, the, the paint finish on this one it's like mate green or flat green it's not shiny you know, just like an ordinary toy it looks very shiny and I don't like that because it's not realistic and you can see even the edges you know it's a bit weathered you know the the faint the 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 paint fades on the edges the edges of the hood the edges here the wheels also are detailed you can see the bolts the the tire threads also 
I'm very happy to have this model. I hope they just made the tracks rusty. But I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied. And that's why I bought two of this. So I think that will be all. If you have questions, just leave a comment. I'm going to try to reply it as soon as possible. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that when I upload new videos, you'll be notified immediately. And you'll be informed of my upcoming videos. I think that would be all. Uh, shout out to my little buddhik. Goodbye and thank you for watching.